The secret that lies beneath all magic tricks and illusions is that people actually do want to be tricked and to believe in magic. The voice of reason tells us that it is simply impossible to saw a woman in half and then just glue her back together. Nonetheless, we smile joyously as children and give the magician a round of generous applause. We're sorry to upset you, but this video is going to shatter a myth of the existence of magic as it reveals a few secrets of some world-renowned illusionists. So, these are five famous magic tricks revealed. Let's get started. Walking on water Walking on water is every magician's dream trick. Until the 21st century, only one person was known to have pulled it off, and then we're talking Bible times. Nowadays, the technologies have developed to make this trick accomplishable. Among the first illusionists to show it to the world was Stephen Frayne, known to the public as Dynamo. The stunt was certainly eye-catching, as the British magician has presumably walked across the River Thames, right in front of the Houses of Parliament. His secret, apparently, is a massive floating platform of plexiglass, anchored by the riverbank. In fact, if Dynamo was to perform the act in a swimming pool filled with the wonderfully transparent chlorinated water, the platform would be seen with a naked eye. Think of the River Thames instead. Its water is so dark, ripply and dirty that even if the illusionist decided to walk upon drowned bodies adorned with motley feathers, no one would even notice. Breaking free from the Chinese water torture cell this trick was designed and performed in 1912 by the brilliant escape artist Harry Houdini. Since then, breaking free from a water-filled tank had got a reputation of one of the most complicated tricks in the world. Actually, there are several ways of pulling it off. The main secret of the stunt lies in the tank's locks, and of course, in the impressive physical training of the illusionist who had dared to perform it. While a magician's assistant secured the locks of the lid, the artist would surreptitiously remove pivots from the hinges attaching the lid to the tank. Then, in order to get out, he would only have to tense his abdominal muscles, pull himself together, do a quick flip turnover and come up for air. At this point you might think, big deal, anyone could do that. But actually Chinese water torture cell is considered a truly death-defying act. Just think about it. The trick requires a performer to be hanging upside down for three minutes at least. That alone makes a serious challenge. Add to that the immersion underwater, physical exertion, and the danger of falling unconscious because of the intense blood flow to your brain. In the end of the equation, we get not just an ordinary trick, but a dangerous, life-threatening stunt. It's amazing how far an illusionist is willing to go just to amuse the public. Pulling a rabbit out of a hat. This trick is probably the first to spring to mind when you think of magic and trickery. It used to be so popular that it had become a symbol of illusionists all around the globe. There are three ways to perform it. The most obvious and easiest one is to make sure you have a table with a hidden drawer big enough to fit a rabbit. The hat must also have a concealed aperture. Then a magician can simply reach through the hat into a compartment within the table below. The second way consists of a special trick top hat. More specifically, in a secret compartment on its bottom where you'd hide a rabbit. During the performance, you'd only have to slide the compartment door open and grip hold of the rabbit. The third way is to put the rabbit in a makeshift sack and attach it to the hook under the table in front of you. With the help of simple hand movements, lift the hat quickly and insert the bag into it. All that's left now is to utter some magic words, perhaps wave your magic wand a bit for dramatic effect, and pull the rabbit from the hat to the delight of the crowd. Metamorphosis Invented in the 19th century, the trick Metamorphosis has won the hearts of the audience for its visual appeal. Almost all famous magicians gave it a go, including the great Houdini. Each one of them did it in their own way, but the most spectacular performance was offered by Jonathan and Charlotte Pendragon. Husband and wife duo brought it to perfection, reducing the time for the transfer to two seconds. In this stunt, Charlotte ties her husband up in a bag before locking him in an apparently solid chest. She then leaps atop the chest and raises a curtain, luring it to momentarily conceal herself. In the blink of an eye, Jonathan emerges, revealing that the spouses have swapped places. When the chest is opened, Mrs. Pendragon is found inside the bag with the knots and seals unbroken. 
what's their secret? Well, the apparently solid chest actually had no back, and the bag in which the first performer was placed had a zip in the base for easy escape. Having gotten himself free from both the sack and the chest, Jonathan would wait for the curtain to drop. Then, as he went through the motions of unlocking the box, Charlotte had time to accommodate herself in the sack. Essentially, their secret is skill and impeccable timing. Catching a bullet. The bullet catch is one of the oldest and most respected stunts in the magician community. It had been perfected for centuries until the trick reached its pinnacle in the performance of Penn and Teller, simultaneously firing guns at each other and catching bullets with their mouths. The most important thing that makes the bullet catch trick go so smoothly is the artful work of hands, jaws, and tongue. The bullets which the performers demonstrate to volunteers from the audience are fake. They burst as soon as they're fired. You may ask then, how about the marks that the volunteers leave on projectiles? Magicians announce in a loud voice which letters or pictures they draw on a bullet casing. At the same time, an assistant backstage puts the same symbols on two empty casings. The performers approach clothes racks and start putting on safety vests and masks. Take note of the fact that the racks stand close to the stage curtain. This is a key moment. Both magicians turn away from the camera, and the audience can't see their faces. At this moment, the assistants place freshly signed bullets into their mouths. Now it's time to admire the performer's eloquence. He gives a whole speech on the dangers of firearms, still having a bullet tucked behind his cheek. The rest is a question of technique and thorough rehearsal. They point a gun at the performance partner, aim carefully, fire fake bullets, and then, covered by smoke screen, manage to relocate the projectile from the cheeks to their teeth. Now, as you have learnt a few secrets of the world's most famous magicians, don't rush to blame them of fraud. Remember, the purpose of all these tricks and illusions is to entertain the audience and make them believe it's magic, for which there is so little left in everyday life. Thanks for watching. Please like and share the video in social networks, and we'll be right back to you as fast as we can.